Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel tonight. We're going to do a new start from scratch farm. Haven't done one of these in a while. We're going to Brook, uh, and we're going to start from scratch on this map. Let's see how we do. This is going to be a difficult challenge because this makes it a little bit harder, harder economy. Uh, now, the nice thing about the Brook map is that when you buy the farm, you do actually start with some equipment. Um, but because it's start from scratch, we're not going to have a lot of money to work with. Let's just see what we need. And about 1.2 mil, I think, is how they give you start from scratch. Um, so let's take a look here. Uh, we're on the farm. And we own nothing, but we do have some equipment. So let's take a look at what they give us, first of all, as far as the equipment goes. Um, it's the wrong button. Garage. We have a Magnum CVX 635M. It's kind of a, it's interesting that we have two, like, I guess the case has more horsepower. But we have two, like, small to medium-sized tractors. We do have a, a regular harvester, though we have no fields. Um, and a tipper. We've got the Lizard pickup truck um, we have a plow and a cultivator we have a fertilizer and a corn seeder mm, we have a wheat header but a corn seeder because that makes sense uh, and it looks like we have a pneumatic uh, pneuma star or pneumatic star um, weeder this is a great weeder because it can also plant grass uh, we have a large grain silo and a workshop I think we have two of these don't we anyway we have a big silo um, I would say this probably is useless because it can't do, um, we're going to reset some of the stuff. We will need a plow. I'd say the cedar probably is useless because we're going to, we can't start off doing corn. I mean, we don't even have a corn header. But let's take a look here and see what we got on the farm. Um, let's go to the farmlands. Um, and actually, you know, the first thing we're going to do, wait, wrong button. Sorry. Uh, we're going to take out a loan and we're going to barrel out to our max. See how much money we can borrow. I think we can get like 1.2 mil if I'm not mistaken. But it might be less. I think it's like a $500,000 loan. There, a million dollars. One million dollars. So we got a mil to work with. Um... And so we're going to go ahead and buy land. The first thing we need is obviously a farm to farm. Um, so we've got this going on here. This farm here is for, <laughs> to buy the land. It's five hundred and forty seven thousand dollars and seventy or some odd dollars. Uh, and we get both the cow pen. So that's a fifty thousand dollar bonus or however many this pen allows. And we also have a horsey barn <laughs> along with the storage, a place to live. So, I mean, it's not. We have to buy a home still, but that's cheap. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Oh, man. I'm going to buy this. X. Yep. So we bought that. This belongs to us now. Mm. This field is pretty large. Let's go ahead and take a look at our field. There's a field over here for the cows. We could mow that for grass. I don't think, like, in real life you wouldn't. You'd leave. The, you'd let the cows eat that grass. But what we could do is we could split this field. Man, see, we're already way down on funds. Wow. But at least we have equipment. Um, we could split this field. We could do uh, grass on one side and then wheat on the other. Let's see, where does this field actually end? Well, see now, this shows the dividing line here. Is that the fence? Okay, we're coming up on the fence here. Oh, you know what? We really, this is actually a pretty big field. Um, I would say we make half of this. We're going to make half of this um, wheat, uh, and then we'll make that for the cows. Or we could even do oats, and then we could have food, the, the food for the horses. Um, I think what we can do, the first thing we need to do is do this. Uh, we're going to go to our menu. No. Yeah, this is what I want. And we're going to zoom in here. And we're going to look at that. We're going to keep that. There's some things that we want to get rid of. I think this is useless because it's it's not going to do us any good. So we're going to... Let's see. We're going to reset that. Um, okay. Pickup truck we want to keep. I guess we could get rid of the pickup. I don't know. 
I hate to sell a John Deere, but I think that the John Deere, unfortunately, doesn't have any front loader things. And I don't particularly need two tractors at this time. I don't want that. We're not going to be planting corn. So what do we got here? We got that. We need that. We're going to need the weeder. We're going to need the harvester. Um, we got our that stuff. So is that it? Let's go down here. Yeah, those are the two things that I wanted to sell. And unfortunately, this tractor also, which I hate to do. But we really, we're going to be really short on funds. So we need to do that. So let's get rid of this. Yeah, my, let's see. My settings are wrong. Stop and go breaking is off. Is it? Yeah. So hang on, we want to turn that on. On. Thank you. <laughs> So we're going to drop this here. It was nice knowing you, John Deere. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, John Deere. And we're going to make... We're definitely going to make silage bales. And you know what? With the Anderson pack coming just around the corner, that could come in useful on this farm. Um, I hate to buy stuff now. Maybe we'll just lease some equipment right now. Um, till we till Anderson comes out, and we can see what's available there because I know the Anderson pack is going to have a lot of bale handling stuff in it. So uh, why don't we, we just wait before we buy some of that stuff? We'll just lease for now. All right. So um, the tractor I'm going to back in. <laughs> Having a hard time selling a John Deere, but we have so many farms where we're using John Deere. I feel bad like continually using it over and over again because boring. Okay. Um, Let's go ahead and take a look at the shop, and we got this. I'm going to reset this to the shop because we're going to need the, to get stuff home. You know what? Uh, I, I think I'm going to get rid of the pickup truck. I don't think we need it right now. I I like the idea of having a farm. You know, farms really, a lot of times they do have pickup trucks. Most of the time they do, but I think right now we just don't need it. I'm going to reset this. All right, so we're going to go here and hop out and grab the pick up truck and sell this and get some extra money. Now, I will be using mods on this farm. The mods that I use, everything that I use on this is from the mod hub, so people on console and PC should be able to enjoy these videos and get the same stuff that I'm using. Because um, once again, if you, I'm getting everything just from mod hub. I'm not using any extras, um, I don't think. <laughs> if I do, you can yell at me. But I'm trying to keep things as simple as possible. Um, all right, so things that we're going to need from the shop. We definitely need a front loader. Uh, and this would take, I believe, 150 plus. That's us. Yep. And we're going to need pallet forks. Yep. And we're going to need a uh, bale spike. Mm, let's see what else we got. We got tons of stuff. I've got... Um, super bale spikes. Any more? Do I want to wrap bale handler? Mm, probably. And a bucket. I don't know what I'll need that for, but we'll also get a bale get a bale spike. Okay, so there's all that stuff. We're gonna be dealing with round bales on, to start with. Uh, we need a way to get all this stuff home, so let's buy. There's, I did download this mod today. It came out recently. Um, go with a middle hitch. Okay, so there's that. We could put these implements on there. Actually, I'm going to leave this one off because we probably are going to need these for stuff. Um, but probably buy a second set for the store to keep. So we're doing good so far, I think. We got enough money. We should have enough money when we're done to still get cows. That's my goal is to have some cows. Some cow stuff. 
Actually, we'll put this a little further on. So we're going to need straw, probably a windrower. Um, so we need a tether and a windrower. And a bale wrapper. <laughs> Baler and a bale wrapper. Once again, I think we're just going to lease stuff for now. Uh, when it comes to all the bailing equipment. Because I don't, once again, I don't know what the Anderson's going to come with, but we can also load bales on this trailer, so we could do that. It's going to be a little bit harder because it'll take us, you know, a little while to collect them because we'll have to do it by hand, but until the Anderson kit comes out, maybe we'll just do that. Um, drop that there. Now we can sell silage bales at our hay barn, hay barn, but we can't sell um, I don't think we can sell Yeah, will this will these bolt down? No, they won't. Nope, so there's no point in doing that. Okay, um, so what else do we need? We've got tractor. We've got a weeder. We're gonna need a cedar. We got a cultivator, so we don't need a cedar necessarily that cultivates, though it probably be faster still to get one that does, but let's take a look at availability. We got a pretty decent amount of land to do, so we want to get uh, something that's going to be wide enough to really cover some land. Uh, to be honest with you, I think this is probably going to be our best bet. Let me think about this. Yeah, there's that. We want a fertilizer that can both spread. I hate these things, but they're so expensive. But I think we need one. Okay. And we need... We need a sprayer. How much we got left? Oh, jeez. So the money's going down fast. Uh, $66,000 for the Stila, as opposed to approximately 40000 So I think this is probably worth it, because that's this holds a lot more. Narrow tires. Why would you buy standard tires? Um, so that does that. Um, oops. Oops. So we got our cedar that cultivates at the same time. We've got the ability to lime and the ability to spray. We also have a weeder already. Um, we've got a harvester to harvest oats. Um, so we need a mower. Mm. How much is it to lease a big M? I mean, we could always do the Fort Schritt, but I don't really want that, that thing. I love this thing, but it takes forever to mow a big field like that. So I'm thinking right now for the money, how much does this cost to lease? Holy shoot. 3000 per day and $7,000 per hour of operating use. So that's going to cost us. A, is it worth it, though? Is it is it worth it? And I'm gonna have to Ted, right? And we're not, you know what? I'm being stupid here. Uh, we're not gonna be Tedding. And I, did I buy a Tedder? I don't think I did. I no, I didn't. Good for me. We're not gonna Ted. We're just feeding the cows silage. Um, that'll keep the cost down. We still get eighty percent, you know, milk. If we do that, we don't need a feeder. I don't need, I'm just feeding him silage. So I could lease a big M and get away with it. Uh, so why don't we just do that? Um, and I can, and I'm going to lease the baler and wrapper. So there we go. That works for now. 
Let's go ahead and take these implements back, and we'll start mowing. I'll have to come back. I'll have to reset the tractor. Whoa! It's, I shouldn't have come in angled like that. So let's go run up to the farm. I'm going to grab these forks, too. And we also need to make a place to live and a washer. Those things we haven't done yet, so we'll do that once we get up to the farm. So I'm going to run up there. I'll be right back. Well, actually, you know, we'll keep going because it's only a couple of minutes up the road. You guys can get a feel for this map. I really like this map. Compare, it's open like that uh, Alps map was, but it still has more of an actual map feel. It's a little empty looking over there, but... I just like the way it, it has a better feel to it. It's definitely um, maybe Dutch, um, like Holland or Denmark or um, I don't know. It, it has a, it has kind of like that uh, that Middle Europe feel, Northern Middle Europe, Belgium maybe. Uh, though Belgium, I thought it was mountainous, so maybe not. <laughs> But we're going to use this trailer, too, to move stuff back and forth from the shop to the farm. See how pretty this is, though. This is a real nice entry into the farm area. I feel like the new the new steering that they put into the game of patch 1.3 is really touchy. Like, I'm struggling to play with my controller. Now, I have a brand new controller, too. Maybe, that's, maybe the controller is just stiff. But I feel like I'm jerking a lot, and I don't normally do that when I drive. Um... But I feel like it's really hard to be smooth on the turns, and I don't. I think they've changed that a little bit, and I don't know where to adjust that because <laughs> I'm lame. But I know with the Anderson pack, we do have like a multi silage bale pickup unit, which will help things quite a bit. Um. So that'll be kind of cool to see that in work uh, in use. Um, and I know also they have like gang wrappers, so you can wrap, yo yo yo, you can wrap some gangs, dude. Uh, you can wrap uh, bales into one long like tube of bales, and that's pretty cool. Here's Brooke. And here's the field that we don't own over on our left. But I'm going to try to keep some money in the account because we're going to, as soon as I have product to feed the cows, we're going to start feeding them. Um, we'll need to get a water tanker, and I probably am just going to build a water supply, so let's do that while we're here. But I think this farm will pretty quickly be able to be successful because we, we should be able to buy a lot of cows right away. Um, the downside that I'm finding is that uh, with this map, you don't, they don't really, um, you can't really, whoops, <laughs> just lost the bail spike. Place your bets. Can Arthur make it back to the farm with all stuff intact? Nope. Oops, and that was the wrong button. Well, that's okay. All right, so let's go ahead and put all these things away. Um... So I think one of the things we do want eventually, if we can afford it, is placeable seed, placeable liquid fertilizer, stuff like that. Because this is going to be a pain in the butt to have to run back and forth to the shop all the time. Uh, but that's what's going to end up happening. Grab those. Okay, pallet fork. The other thing I don't like is the way they, they should not have put those trees right behind the barn. Because that makes it... Or the tractor silo, because the tractor pen. Whatever. Ah, crap. Wouldn't you know it? Oh, great. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> there we go. Oops. Yeah, look at my driving skills. So I got that no-clip camera thing. I don't know that I really like it. In theory, it's pretty cool, but in a in actual uh, 
in actuality, it kind of sucks. Drop that right there. And pull this off and go grab that other piece. <laughs> Setting up the farm is a lot of fun. Select that. Good. that so this tractor actually has a decent amount of horsepower it's listed as 175 I think that's as far up as it goes but that's enough for the equipment that we're using um, great perfect <laughs> uh, <laughs> I meant to do that That's great. There we go. That's what we wanted. And put the bale spike there. Cool. And then this trailer we're just going to park. Uh, we will need this again pretty soon, but we're going to just park this over somewhere else. I don't know where. Somewhere else. Right here. How does that look? Park that right here. Uh, easier said than done. I wanted it to go over in the other bay, but there we go. Now just turn around this way. Good. Okay, good. Whoops. Yeah, this trailer would have gone well with a pickup truck, but... There we go. Okay, so we got that all set. And we're going to put the arms over here back with the other equipment that we were using. I don't think we'll need these for a little while. Um, good. Okay, so we're going to... Park this right now, and so we need to mow. The first thing we're going to do is mow, but we want to. I want to get these items placed first before we mow. So let's go ahead and take a look at the things that we need. We've got a karcher, washer. We definitely need that. Um, I don't know why they put the workshop over there. That really sucks. I hate where they put the workshop. But I don't want to move it because that's going to cost me a fortune. So we'll just park, park this right here. Uh, and then um, we need to get, what else? Water station. Really? Ah. I mean, I guess we should probably put it by the cows, right? So we'll just... Where does the cows... Where does they... Where do the cows actually have water? Um, let me take a little walk inside the old cow barn and see where the... Where the water trough is. Since it's different than the default one. Water trough is right here. Okay, so maybe if we just... So we're going to have to come in the pen to do the water? Oh, that's weird. Okay, well, but I'm glad I checked because that means we're going to place it somewhere else. It'll actually go inside the pen. As close as we can. Not here, not here, not here. What? Come on. Really? Oh, this map is frustrating me. That kind of sucks. Really? <laughs> okay, dear. <laughs> uh, you can't place this anywhere by your cows because that would make too much sense. All right, right there. There we go. And so that's built. Mm-hmm. 
Wow, frustrating. Okay, well, we can do the water tank in there, and then... All right, so we have... What else do we need? We need a home. So, let's go to houses. Gonna buy a trailer home. Surprising, with all the detail on this farm, I'm surprised they did not give us a farmhouse, but... Um, can we put it over here? I don't want to be right next to the cows. Yeah, there it goes. We can put it there. Put her there. Get it spun around so it fits. Oh, really? Come on. <laughs> so fussy. All right, so we got the house built. There's our water tank. Whew. And the money's just slipping away. Um... So we got enough for silage. We got enough stuff. We got all the sprayer. We got. Uh, so we're gonna get it. We're gonna. <laughs> we're gonna rent the mower. We d definitely need a water tanker. So let's go ahead and pick one of those up. Do we need a loading wagon? No, because we're making bales. Oh, we will when we start doing straw. So I guess. No, we could bale the straw too, though. We'll just do that. Um. So we need water. I've got this mod. We're going to try this one out. It's got a, a fortress. We're going to change the rim color. Hmm. Doesn't let us change the... Huh. Weird. Okay. Well, I guess it has red wheels. We definitely need that to stay. So we'll get that. Um... Oh, we're going to need a milk trailer. I didn't think about that. But we can get that later because we don't need it yet. We can also lease it if we need to. Wait. Mm, nah, we're just going to buy it. You know what? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, they can change colors? Didn't know that. All right, so we got $33,000 coming out of the bank. And um, so we have done pretty well for a start for scratch. We still have 338 $368,000 left. We're going to rent that mower and get out there and mow. Um, eventually, I'd like to buy one. I like this, though, because it just it's its like straight up. We just mow and we're ready to get. Though You know what? If we don't need to collect or, or Ted, maybe the Fortress is a good solution because it mows pretty quick. How much is it to lease? It's a lot less to lease. You know what? For now, we're just going to lease this. We'll do green and white. No, I don't. I want to lease. Man, we're going to get a header for it. I don't like to use stuff over and over again, but I think in this case, this thing's a good... Let's see. And we're going to lease that. So let's go ahead and get out there and get that guy started. <laughs> and we'll have him mow, and then we'll come right behind him and bail. So I'm going to get this guy started. Grab that. So I think we have everything we need except for the baler, and we're going to actually rent that right now, too, because I want to do that before the episode ends, and we're almost out of time for the day. So we're just going to lease this guy. Um, foil color, yeah, white is fine. Yep. Yep, and that's at the store, and then we're going to lease... Uh, nope. We're also going to lease... Um, Where's the bailing technology? I was just in. I was just there. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna lease a pickup trailer. Got all these smods, smods. 
You know what? Let's see what we got. I have an auto loader section. I usually don't use auto loaders, but we might just use auto loaders for this. Um, <laughs> no, I can't do it. I just can't bring myself to do it. Sorry. Uh, I would rather just lease the uh, uh, trailers. Nope. Bailing technology. I'm too much of a, of a stubborn person to do that. So we're going to do this. Uh, the Ursus pickup wagon. And we're just going to lease that. Okay, so that's that's been leased. So we can come, come back later and pick that up. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and drive this guy up to the farm. And we'll get started in the next episode. So the next episode we're going to actually... Uh, get this guy mowing, and then we'll follow behind and start bailing uh, silage for our supposed cows. And in fact, before we end the episode, let's do this. Let's uh, hop over here. And I never do this, but we're going to do it now. Because we have everything. I think we have everything we need, I think. I think we have everything I need. Check that. Nope. i got to find where the cow buy point is. It's right outside here. Yep. And you always get the same color cows, I found out, um, because the cows will mul will multiply better if they have the same types. 1, 2, 3, 4, let's see how much we got. 17, 32, 40, 50. I'm going to buy as many as I can up to, let's say, 250. Wow, we can buy a lot of cows. Hopefully we have enough silage to feed them. How many cows is that? We got $253,000 worth of cows. <laughs> oh, man. How many cows is that? Well, let's see. 2,500 times. That's going to be 100 cows. Um, right? Or just under. Probably two, 235. So it's going to be, yeah, like almost 100 cows. Um, and that gives us a hundred thousand dollars to save up for horses, but we can't feed the horses yet cause we don't have hay. So we're not going to do that yet, but that'll leave us some money to work like working capital. So we're going to go ahead and confirm that. So we now have how many cows does it tell us how many we have? 94 cows. Perfect. Okay. So we got uh, 94 black cows. They've got no food and no water. <laughs> So we need to get that to them as fast as possible, which is what we're going to start in the next episode. We're going to get this fort trip back home. And so hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. Uh, this is going to be a really cool series. I think we're going to have fun on this farm. This is a big one. So once again, we're starting from scratch. We're going to do things, some things by leasing. With 100 cows, we should make a decent amount of money. Um, I don't know right away, but we're going to have to do some crop sales too. And we're probably going to have to sell some of the silage bales once we have the cows fed up all the way. So the goal is eventually to get to the horses. Um, and like I said, we bought a cedar so we could do the horses, but that's down the road a little bit. We may not use that for a little bit. Um, but uh, for now, we're going to make silage bales and more silage bales and more silage bales. And we're just going to buy it. We're going to sell them and we're going to use them to feed the cows. And we're just going to get production started on the farm and start hopefully making some money. Once again, this is going to be a tough economy. I think we're only going to get like four or $500 per bale. Um, so they're not, it's paying close to what real bales cost. Honestly, uh, I think silage bales go for maybe 250 bucks, 300 bucks. So we're close to a real economy price on that. Um, the only difference is of course we get grass every, every other day or every day. So we can make a lot of silage, but, uh, anyway, have a great night guys. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And we'll see you on the next exciting episode of Brooke. Looking forward to it guys. Bye.